Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Pete, we do this thing here called Jazz Hands. No one is immune. Everyone has to do it. All right. Jazz yeah. Hands. There you go. Jazz Hands. All right. I hope you guys have your big girl panties on. It's going to be fun tonight. This is episode 627 of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. I'm your host, Hank Strange. Our special guest is Pete Brownell. There he goes. He's live. He's here for the... He looks very professional. He's got a professional setup with the microphone. And... Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. yeah, my son set this up. He's oh. a techie. <laughs> awesome. Uh -huh. Awesome. Yeah. We also have Walter Keller joining us. Walter, what's up? Oh. Just another happy day in paradise. Yeah, okay, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Walter, making the guns. And, you know, uh, the first thing I want to do here, first thing I want to do, we got to do this official, hashtag BOP. Okay, yeah, Walter, yeah, he's showing off his uh, Bureau are. of Propaganda shirt Walter has. I'm flying the flag, there it goes. There you are. For all the Join BOP the people out there, absolutely. <laughs> if I don't do this, P, I'm going to be in big trouble with the rest of the <laughs> BOP dudes. They were like, okay, I can't believe you oh, had yeah. Pete Brownells on. You didn't do it. So we did that. All right. So we're gonna. Pete's going to be here for the whole two hours. He's going to take questions, all that kind of awesome stuff. Um, I know I've gotten a lot of things, Pete, from the folks out there. And you, there's probably like one question everyone wants to get into here, sure. right, on the subject of the NRA. So, um, you know, I don't know if there's really a lot there that's been going on for a while. So I don't know if you've got something that you want to say to cover that, and then we can move on and go on to other well, things here. It, yeah, um, I've been, uh, I retired from the NRA about two years ago when I stepped down from the uh, presidency. So I've been out of the loop for quite some time. So I'm getting the news feeds uh, like you guys are getting the news feeds. So mm -hmm. it's, I don't want to say there's uh, there's nothing new or any inside that I, that I know that's not already out there. Because we're all mm -hmm. uh, that whole document set out there. So yeah. um, the NRA's got some stuff to work through. Uh, still a still a group, there's still a, a big group out there that's uh, supporting the NRA as being members and letting your voice be heard. I encourage that. Let your voice, your Second Amendment voice be heard like you're doing right here today. Mm -hmm. There's also some other great organizations out there right now that are really moving the needle. So join them all. Uh, and you got NSSF, you were flying the, the, the patches there, NAGA. Great, great group. And there's, maybe we can get in some numbers of new gun owners a little later on in the show if you haven't mm -hmm. touched already with your listeners. Mm -hmm. um, Second Amendment Foundation, Alan Gottlieb, doing some great stuff out there. Mm -hmm. um, there's a whole bunch of them. Second yeah. Amendment, there's just a lot of them. Join them yeah. all. We need that voice. There's GOA. Yeah. There's a bunch of folks out there. There's right. um, there's individuals doing a lot of stuff, which we will get into this. You know, you've got uh, Maj Ture over at uh, <laughs> Black Guns Matter. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. you've got Kevin Dixie, you've got lots of people out there. And, and I think it's what's important right now, especially right now, is everyone um, needs to get into that mindset that we all have to fight for the Second Amendment. And regardless right. of what's going on, Brownells is still committed to that, right or wrong. That's right on, man. Yep. OK. All right. That's very important for anyone that wants to know. We can maybe get into some things. What's up, Walt? I saw, and I think it was the truth about guns, that the uh, ACLU says the NRA has the right to exist. Now, for the <laughs> ACLU yeah. to be course, doing yeah. something for Brownells, I mean, excuse me, for for NRA, sorry, sorry about that, Pete. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, 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 that tells you something there, you know, that there could yeah. be a little bit of monkey business going on. Yeah. You know, so. yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, if those guys, if those guys are see, taking it that seriously, absolutely, yeah, we can't argue that, so. I I, uh, I, can, I can tell you the ACLU at their core principle is is uh, they're looking to make sure that we have our civil liberties. When they mm -hmm. see someone that they're not necessarily lined up with or in the same, we're sitting around the same campfire, uh, how we approach freedom, when they see a, the kind of the gross overreach of the government pushing, which could be determined as politically pushing a civil rights organization out of existence, they're going to stand up and yeah. And say something. So I, I applaud their courage to do that because I know that's that's difficult for the ACLU yeah. to do that. So I applaud them for that. Yeah, and the thing is, is that uh, it I don't know if you can. Do yeah, there you go, Pete. Boom. Just try to get in the center. Go the other way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, there you go. Man. You're good. Yeah. Um. You know what the thing is? I think that what we all need to realize about that. Um. Couple of things here. One, I know people don't like getting into politics, right? And I understand why. There's certain things in, in the world people don't want to talk about. I'm fine with it. 
maybe lots of us are fine with that. But to me, the Second Amendment's not political. <laughs> it's, it's the Constitution. You know, this shouldn't have anything to do with who's in office or this thing or that thing. It's part of the Constitution. And I think there's we're starting to see organizations out there realize that, guess what? If they get rid of these guys, how much longer is it before they get rid of these guys? Or if they get rid of this thing in the Constitution, how much longer is it before they get rid of that thing in the Constitution? So very important um, to me for what America means and what America will continue to grow into becoming is uh, the Constitution. And, and I think that the ACLU is talking about, mostly talking about the First Amendment when I read those articles, right? Right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. So make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.